Hi people, welcome to chapter 3.5. We're going to learn how to find the area of a triangle using trigonometry. Okay, so let's just look at the general formula over here. So over here we have a triangle called A, B, C. And just take note the way I label the sides or the length of the sides of the triangle. The opposite length to angle C, for example, okay, angle C, for example, is the side labeled with a small letter C. And the opposite side to angle, capital uh, angle A, will be the side small letter A. Okay, same for B. Okay, so for the area of the triangle is given by this formula, half AB sine C. So let me just explain what this means. Okay, the angle C over here will be referring to this angle of reference, okay, over here. And the two sides that we're referring to will be the two sides that subtends, okay, or uh, you know, the two sides that gives you angle C. Okay, so you have side A, okay, over here, and uh, side B, over here. Okay, so you realize that there are three forms of the formula. So suppose we are looking at angle A instead. Then the two sides that subtends angle A will be side C, over here, and side B, over here. Okay, and last but not least, we have angle B, over here, and then the two sides that subtends angle B will be side C and side A. Okay, so as you can see, side E, side C, sorry, and side A gives you angle B. So in the last part of the formula, half times A times C sine B, sine of angle B, will also give you the area of triangle ABC. Okay, so let's look at some practical applications of this formula. Look at this first example we have over here. So I'm just going to leave the formula of the triangle at the top left-hand corner of the screen. Okay, so the area in example A, the area of triangle ABC is just given by half. Okay, in this case, I will be using these two sides, 2 and 3. So half times 2 times 3 times sine of the angle, okay, sine of the angle over here, that is subtended by the sides AC and AB, okay, so sine of 40 degrees. Press this in your calculator and you will just get 1.93 cm square. Okay, next diagram over here, what I'm going to do is a parallelogram, okay, but what I'm going to do, uh, I'm just going to put a dotted line, so you see two triangles instead of one. Okay, so let us first find triangle PSQ, okay, area of triangle PSQ. It will just be given by half, okay. Take note that since this is 8.5 and this is of equal length, this will also be 8.5. This is also 8.5 and this is also 8.5. Okay, so PSQ, triangle PSQ will just be half times 8.5 times 8.5 sine of 78 degrees, okay. And the area of the whole diagram, okay, the area of the whole diagram will be twice of triangle PS cube, okay, because there are two of such triangles. Okay, so this is also 78 degrees. So what we're gonna do area of area required, okay, will be equals to two times triangle PS cube. Okay, press this in your calculator, you will get approximately 70.6 cm square. Okay, three significant figures. Okay, same, of, same for what's over here, three significant figures. Okay, so let's move on to the next example. Cool. Okay, in this example, a uh, diagram is not given, so we'll try to draw the diagram. So in triangle ABC, the side A is 43, so let me just draw a triangle. It doesn't have to look... Uh, too nice, you know, just label the triangle ABC and take note that the side that is directly opposite angle A will be called side A, okay, or small letter A. So, same for here, this will be B and this will be C, okay. So, angle B is given to be 67 degrees, A is given to be 43 centimeters, and C is given to be 32 centimeters, okay. Calculate the area of the triangle, so area of triangle ABC is just given by half times 
the two sides and the angle subtended by the two sides. So let us look at what which two sides we're interested in. We'll be interested in side AB, okay, or side C, and uh, side BC, okay, over here. So 32 and 43. And the angle that is subtended by this side and this side, okay, is 67 degrees. So sine of 67 degrees. Okay, so punch this in your calculator, round it off, you'll get 633 centimeter square to three significant figures. Okay, calculate the, okay, in the next part of the question, calculate the perpendicular height from A to BC. So from A to BC. What I'm going to do, I will drop a dotted line, okay, across. So as you can see, this line over here, let me just use a different color to make it clearer to you. So this line over here is the length that I want, okay? And take note that it is perpendicular to line BC. Okay, so what I'm going to do, the area of the triangle, the area of the triangle can also be written as half times the height, okay? This height. Let me just call it uh, H, okay, times the height times length BC, okay? And earlier on, we found that the area of triangle is given as 633, so 633 is equal to half times the height times BC is given as 43 centimeters, okay, over here. What we're going to do? solve this equation okay so multiply both sides by half so i got sorry by two okay so i got this okay and divide both sides by 43 okay so press this in your calculator and finally you will work out that your h is approximately 29.5 cm okay so this this brings me to the end of the two examples just want to highlight that in this part of the chapter, we are learning how to find the area of a triangle using trigonometry. Okay, so let's say our reference angle is angle C, for example, then the formula would be given as such half times A times B, okay, half times A times B, times the sine of angle C. And AB are the two sides that subtends angle C. Okay, so I'll see you for now.